All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today we are going to be showcasing the Extreme Z Awakened LR Hercule at 100% in the Hidden Potential system. Now real quick, before we get into it, for anybody that missed my last video and don't know exactly what he does, we're going to be going over his details before we jump into the gameplay. All right, so first things first, his leader skill is all types key plus two. HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. Really wish it was key plus 3. This would have been so much better, but uh, still not a bad leader skill, I guess. Especially compared to what it used to be. Anyways, his super attack, 12 key, causes colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And his 18 key, causes mega colossal damage and raises attack and defense by 50% for 3 turns, which is pretty crazy. And his passive... It's great chance of key plus 7 and attack plus 77% and then key plus 3 and defense plus 77% for 3 turns. From start of turn, high chance of evading enemies attack including super attack for 3 turns after receiving an attack. And finally, attack enemies attack minus 22% for 3 turns. Alright, so there you go. That is the LR Hercules Extreme Z Awakening. Everything else pretty much stays exactly the same. Same links, same categories of course and uh, same stats as well. The only other change is his super attack level, which goes from level 20 before the EZA to level 25. So let's jump into it. We're running a Majin Buu Saga team here. And on this first rotation, we're getting some defense support from the LR Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. And he's starting off with 150,000 defense, which is not bad at all. That's actually quite significant. We shouldn't be taking any damage here. And uh, why don't we actually give an 18 key super to the LR Saiyan Man 1 and 2 first for that extra attack. And before we give this guy any orbs, he's already almost at full key, right? So we can pretty much be sure that he's getting that first part of his passive right now. And let's just give him, uh, you know, two orbs. There you go, full 24 key super. And let's see it. Okay, so obviously first super is the Saiyan Man. About 1 million, which, I mean, they're not known for their damage, so that's okay. But this is actually a good way to compare what a non-Easy LR can do compared to now the Easy A LR Hercule. Okay, so keep in mind, 1 million compared to 2.4 million for LR Hercule. That's really good. That's actually really good. Now, I know recently we've been kind of spoiled with, like, all these crazy damage numbers. And from my experience, LR Hercule is going to be right around like 2.5 to 3 million, depending on the kind of supports you have on rotation. Obviously, for this turn, we didn't have any attack supports. I mean, we did get a little bit of extra attack from the same man 1 and 2 super. But like, we don't have like Kid Buu on rotation or anything like that, right? So 2.4 million, in my opinion, is really good. But uh, I know some people are going to say, yo, why is the attack so low? Yo, why is he so trash? But I actually think that 2.4 is good. And I think the unit actually shines more from a defensive perspective than an offensive perspective. Like on offense, he's be solid, right? 2.43 million. I think it's still really good. So, you know, like that's that's not disappointing to me. But on top of that, his defense is really, really good. So last turn, remember, he had what? 150k but he just supered so he raised his defense this turn and we also got some more support from the kid boo and he's looking at 274,000 defense that's quite the jump holy crap okay, I, I knew there was gonna be a jump i knew it was gonna be over 200k i didn't think it was gonna be 274k <laughs> damn okay this is gonna be good this is gonna be good um so let's go with that doesn't really matter he already has a full 24 and doesn't really matter what these guys do but let's see what hercule is gonna do defensively oh actually you know what okay so 3.2 million is the attack stat um but i was gonna say i want i want to see him take a super but at the same time goku's dead so we didn't really get a chance to test anything there but okay okay yeah I only used him for a little bit before the video started, before I started recording, and uh, that's why like I was 
I was pretty shocked, man, that his defense went that high. Now, next turn is going to be a little bit more interesting because he's going to be losing that 77% defense on his passive. So we're going to be able to see, you know, for longer events, what his average defense is going to look like, right? Because um, the last two turns when we saw him, he did have that extra 77%, but it only lasts for three turns, right? So let's see if it's still reasonable. Let's see if it's still any good. Um, you know, 198k is actually not bad. <laughs> you know, not bad. Not bad is an understatement. It's really good. It's really good. This is after his 77% goes away, right? So basically, that second part of the passive where it says key plus three and defense plus 77% for three turns from start of turn, that's gone. That's gone. And he's still at 198,000 defense. Damn. Okay, um, unfortunately, you might have noticed that his key is much lower than before, and that's because we actually didn't get the first part of his passive either, right? Because that's a great chance. It's about 70%, but every once in a while, you're not going to get that to proc. So this turn, we're going to be missing a lot of damage, or a lot of attack, basically, and it's going to be much less impressive than the last couple of turns. Just keep in mind, before, he did 2.4 and then 3.2. This turn, 1.5, which is still better than what he did before, for the most part. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not great because he's not getting attack on his passive. <laughs> but still, 1.5, I'll take it. I'll take it, especially with the crazy tanking he's doing. And even if you don't have double supports, right? Let's say you only have like one support, you have no supports. Uh, he's also still getting a high chance to dodge. So... Even if his defense is not at like 200k or 150k, uh, if he's dodging, then he's still going to be a really good tank. Because when you dodge, you're essentially getting 100% damage reduction, right? Now, for this event specifically, for the Legendary Goku event, you really got to be careful with the last stage here. Because obviously, when you face MUI Goku, he's int, and he also takes away any dodging. So Hercule is probably going to get punished pretty bad. But for most other events, right, like Super Battle Road, uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History, obviously any Dokkan event out there, um, you should be good to go. You should be just fine. So my overall, like, opinion of this Hercule, honestly, is very, very positive. I think they did an amazing job. I really have no complaints. And f for me, it's just like, trying to keep in perspective just like how bad he was before the EZA man I mean he was atrocious he was awful so the fact that he's he's doing this kind of tanking the fact that he's doing this kind of damage makes me really happy okay so yeah without attack support you're looking at 2.4 with attack support looking at 2.8 2.9 sometimes even over 3 million and there's the dodging but no dodge 36 damage here you go, man. <laughs> but obviously, like, obviously I'm very impressed. Oh, what happened? Pretty good. I think, I think my Elgato cut out for a second. Maybe it's tired. It's very late. I'm tired. So maybe the Elgato's also tired. But anyways, uh, <laughs> obviously I'm very happy with him. But that being said, I want to hear some different perspectives. All right, so if you guys disagree with me, if you were disappointed by this EZA and wanted it to be better for whatever reason, then let me know why. Let me know what could have been improved, you know, on top of like what we already got. And uh, yeah, leave a comment in the description down, or not description, just in the comment section down below, okay? But honestly, like I, I couldn't have asked for more, right? Like I, I'm just, back in the day, man, when Hercule was doing like less than a million damage, he was like struggling to get there and especially when he wasn't getting anything on his passive he just had no passive right it was just a great chance for some key and some attack and when that didn't proc this dude literally did nothing right so yeah it, he's come a long way it's come a very very long way all right so this attack should be pretty nice let me see if i can get a that's an 18 key super right there for the salmon and then for hercule full 24 easy because we did get the passive to proc there and uh, this is going to be the last turn, guys, of the showcase. Yeah, 
I'm I'm okay with him. I I think he's he's good enough. More than good enough, in fact. I actually didn't expect him to be this good. I thought his EZA was gonna be like, eh, you know, that is improvement. It's fine though. But dude, look at that. 3.3 million. Alright, tanking off the charts. Let's let's see what he does for all these attacks here. Oh, there's an additional too. Nice. But yeah, let's let's see let's see what he takes for all these attacks here. Hopefully we get a super as well. To really test it. Okay, there's a super. Let's see. 21k. 21. You guys, you guys know, yo, this dude hits pretty hard, man. All right, uh, Tech Godku hits pretty hard, and he took 21k. Hercule, that is, took 21k. So, I, I love it, man. I, I think it's awesome. But once again, if you guys disagree, I want to hear your perspectives. I want to hear why you disagree. And if you do agree with me, then that's cool. You know, that that's totally fine too. But that's gonna be today's video, guys. That is the Extreme Z Awakened. LR Hercule, we will be get, be able to um, get his medals through the Baba Shop as opposed to a Extreme Z area, which is kind of interesting. But I guess they I guess they just wanted to follow the theme of like the previous medals for his Awakening, where uh, you had to buy them in the Baba Shop for Zeni, right? So uh, yeah, from what I've heard, I don't think it's hundred percent confirmed, but from what I've heard, you also get his Extreme Z Awakening medals in the Baba Shop with Zenny. I don't know how much they cost. I'm assuming more than the regular like championship belt medals. But hopefully it's not too crazy where like most people can still, you know, acquire them fairly easily. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so let's do one more attack here with the uh, Hercule, but uh, obviously this is going to be it. Uh yeah, it's close to 200,000 defense still. He, he's fine. Even when he loses that defense, he's he's totally fine. Okay, so guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you for you know spending your time on the channel. Oh, you know what? Yo, we have a token attack. Hold on. Did not realize there was gonna be a token attack. Let's do a token attack. There we go. And uh, yeah, that is gonna be the video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time, to the channel and you like what you see then definitely make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out